we are now going to look at floating. This will involve us grouping elements within its own div tag, and then providing a name and title for those elements. To make them float, we are going to tell each element that we want it to appear to the left of the last element. That way the elements will work across the page instead of down the page. We are going to use floating to help lay out our navigation bar. Instead of having three boxes on top of each other, we're going to have three boxes next to each other, running right to left across the page. To do this, we're going to need to put in some new divs on each page, and then new divs around each of the navigation bar titles. Refer back to the code in the workbook to make sure that we get this right. Please note that whatever change you make on one page, you'll need to make on the other template pages. And you'll also have to make a change in the CSS. This will include adding formatting to all three of the bars. Make sure that your navigation bar looks like the image in your workbook.